Sky King here, and I'm gonna show you, I feel like the 1-800 guy. Hey, Sky King here, and uh, I'm gonna show you how to install an EMB. What am I doing with my hands? I still don't know what to do with my hands. Hey, Sky King here, and I'm gonna show you how to install an EMB super quick and fast and not make it confusing or anything, and it's just gonna be super fun, and then your game's gonna look really great. Okay, here we go, roll the title screen. <laughs> So first we're going to go to embdev.com slash download, link is in the description, and we're going to scroll down and to where we see Skyrim. Okay, so choose whichever Skyrim you have, be it LE, SE, or VR, I'm using SE. And then here we're going to choose the very top file, that's the most recent one, which is 4. Point, uh, it's .494, okay? Click it, we scroll down again, and we hit download, and it has now downloaded, super simple. Okay. Here I have the zip folder open and I have my game folder open. This is the game folder where your game's exe file is not in your mod organizer. You don't install an EMB like a mod or anything. You open up the zip folder, open up the wrapper version folder, and we want these two D3D files. That's all you need, okay? So we're gonna select both of these D3D files and we're gonna drag them into our game folder. I'm gonna overwrite my old ones and now EMB is installed. Well, the source files are installed. Now we need to install an actual EMB from Nexus Mods. So here we are on the PyCho website, and this is an EMB for Skyrim Special Edition. And I'm gonna go over to files, and you'll see a bunch of different files. They have an EMB for each weather type because it has to be tuned and calibrated differently for that weather. You'll also find EMBs that are more focused towards eel effects or lux. So make sure that you read the requirements and everything about each file to make sure that you're getting the right one. I'm gonna go ahead and choose um, the one for Nat because that is the weather that I use. Now we'll go ahead and click download manually because again, you don't install these like a mod, you have to install them manually. So download manually and that's it. So here I am with the PyCho zip open and here's my game folder still and I am going to choose the Skyrim SE folder. There's also a performance option for people with uh, less capable rigs. If you want to save some frames per second or if that means more to you than visuals, choose the performance option. I'm gonna choose the Skyrim SE folder. You have an EMB series, EMB local, and another EMB series INI file. We're gonna select all of them and drag them in to our game folder. And now, we'll go ahead and replace our old EMB. And now, our EMB is installed. So here we are in game, our EMB is working, but now we wanna tweak our EMB, so we gotta get into the EMB menu. For most EMBs, that's going to be pressing Shift and Enter at the same time. Some EMBs are different, so make sure you read the description page. Shift, Enter, and I like to hit the tilde key to pause the game. All right, so here you can see we have two windows. Sometimes you'll get three. You'll have the weather window, shader perimeters, and the tweaking window, I call it, but the EMB series window. So I'm gonna turn off the weather window because I really don't need it. On the left-hand side here, you have you have the effects being used. So you might have bloom, <clears throat> depth of field, ambient occlusion. <clears throat> All of these are effects that are on. You can turn them on and off. Each effect may or may not eat up your FPS. If you would like to tweak things, you keep on scrolling and here are their rollout panels for each of those boxes up above. So if we wanted to go to the bloom, for instance, we could come here and simply boost the amount of bloom that we have. Or we could reduce it depending on whatever you want. If you've made a lot of changes to your game, say you added a lot of bloom, let's say you tweaked a lot of perimeters and you really just don't like it or it got away from you, you can just hit load configuration and it will default back to what was previously saved. Now, let's say that you did like what you've done. Make sure that you hit the save configuration button in the top left and it will save what you've done. So every time you load your game, it'll use those configurations. And if you tweak them and you load the previous configuration, it'll go back to how you had it before. Okay, so make sure that you save. If you don't save, when you restart the game again, it'll default back to the settings even before that. So just make sure that you save and you should be all good. Over on the right hand side, we have shader perimeters, and these are pretty important too. Here you can go much more in depth and you can tweak things such as grain, letterbox, vignette, 
pretty much anything you want for Pai Cho. I really like working with the different LUTs and testing those out. So you can definitely see how you can go a little crazy and over the top with all of these LUTs for color grading. That's really a fun thing to do. And again, like I said before, you can turn on and off the vignette. You can turn on and off the letterbox. And that looks good to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit save again because I would like my game to continue looking like this every time I load it up. The last thing that I wanna talk about is here in your e in your game folder, you'll have those files that you dragged in from your ENB zip folder. When you start the game, it will create an EMB cache folder. If you make changes to your EMB outside of the game, make sure that you delete the EMB cache folder before relaunching or you won't see any changes that you've made. Sometimes. Sometimes you will, sometimes you won't. So I just make it a good habit to delete my EMB cache folder if I make any changes. What kind of changes? Mainly to the EMB local and EMB series file, which is going to lead to the next fix I have for you. Sometimes when you install an EMB, you'll notice that the landscape gets really spiked you get the spiky grass problem. What that is, is that the EMB comes default with parallax turned on and you're not running parallax textures for your landscape for meshes. So to turn that off, you would go into your EMB series INI file. And here I have my complex parallax and my terrain parallax set to true. You would like to set anything that has parallax in the word to just go ahead and set those to false. And that should get rid of your spiky ground. After you do that, make sure you delete your EMB cache folder or you might still have spiky ground, okay? So that's it. It's really easy to install and use an EMB in your game. Just make sure when you download it, it's for your weather. If it's not for your weather, you're not gonna break anything, but you just might have to tweak it a little bit more to fit your lighting style. If you download an EMB geared towards Lux, you might have to adjust the interior perimeters to match your lighting for ELFX. It's not really hard, it's just a little more time consuming. But anyway, have fun, experiment, you're not gonna break anything, and good luck, and I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching, bye.